Hello everybody, this is Bossing Say from the forums. Wanted to go over World Browser today a little bit with you. What, a, what is it? Um, how do I enable the engine? Why do I want to use it? Alright, so we're just going to get off of that. And here we are. We're in our game. Um, I used the top-down template. We are going to be deleting all this stuff inside here, so let's get rid of all that. All right, and we're left with uh, this guy here. Actually, let's just get rid of all that. Perfect. All right, we've got a pretty basic template now. Uh, let's go to File, Save As. Let's save this level. All right, we're just going to call this Main. we got a couple others in here. Uh, let's go get rid of those. So I'm in my Unreal Projects. The test is what this is called, Content. We're going to go to Maps. Let's get rid of all that except our Main. I'm going to keep that. All right, so I'm going to get rid of that there. Back on our engine. Let's enable this tool. Uh, go up to Edit. Uh, you need to be in 4.2 for this to work. Uh, editor Preferences. Experimental. Oh! Big key. This is an experimental tool. Uh, there have been little glitches here and there. I haven't ran into too many. But here it is. World Browser. Let's enable that puppy. Alright. So now it's enabled. What does that do for us? Nothing's changed. Um, let's go up to Window. As you see, World Browser is now in our tab. Let's click on that. Um, so this gives us nothing, uh, but if we come in here to File, Open World, uh, we see we're in our project here. Uh, test is our project. I'm going to open up that uh, this map here in uh, our world browser. All right, it's open. So now this is my persistent level. I have 10 actors in here, apparently. Um, I believe that's what that is. Let's go to File, and uh, let's create two under this. So let's call Map underscore 1. File, create new, map underscore two. All right, so we got two new uh, maps in here. Um, doesn't do much for us right away, but let's enable these. So I double click on these. Here's our save button. So now these are saved. Um, and what I'm going to do is, uh, as you can see, this is blue. That means I have that map highlighted. That's the one I want to be working on. Um, so I have one highlighted. Let's go in here to landscape. Ooh, way too big. Let's take that down to seven. Ah, much better. Um, material, let's just do some grass. Perfect. All right, I got some grass here. All right, that's good. Um, what now? Let's go to map two. I want to add something for map two. What am I going to add? Um, let's go back into here. New landscape. Uh, we have some gravel. There we go, gravel. Same size. Okay, I create the gravel. Now, contrary to belief, you'd think that you'd be able to just come in here and uh, move this around, but you can't. But if you see this here, you can move it here. So I just shored those up to next to each other. Uh, looks good. All right. Um, real quick, uh, I got... Let's go to one. There we go. Let's take that away. Let's add in some bounds so I can... That much bounds so I can run around. Here we go. And we're just going to size that up real quick. Let's bring it out. Yeah, that's good. Bring it out to... Good, good enough. All right, it took a sec. Let's make those perfect. Um, it's a little big. Let's tighten this up here. Let me move it over. I can do this. All right, that'll work for us. Um, so that is applied to one. So if I take away one, it all disappears. That's good. Um, I'm going to save that. Save that there. Um, I'm going to disable that and bring in this one. Let's do the same thing here. Nav mesh. Alright. Let's make this... Uh, let's make the whole thing a little bit bigger than that. Perfect. Wow. There we go. <laughs> Not sure why I did that. Um, make it a little bigger. Pull it out there. Ah, having some technical. Dip. There we go. That should work for what we're trying to do. Um, I'm gonna save all these. Let's just oh, yeah, load that map. Save all these. Uh, let's see. I should should be good there. Let's check. Yes. Okay. As you can see here. Uh, you can see my little pawn running around. Uh, I'm going to 
go over here, one across over the other one. Pretty streamless cross, not bad. All right, I like it. So, I'm gonna stop this here. Um, another thing I wanna show you here is this right here on Categories. We're gonna make um, two layers. This is for streaming um, your two maps together. Uh, right now, they're set up to, uh, to stream all the time. They just do what they're told. They're all in the same layer. Uh, so let's make this layer one. We're gonna make this 1500. Uh, layer two. Oop, my layer. Call that two. And so the reason I'm making this 1500 um, is the difference that, or the the distance that you need to be away before you start streaming the next level, before it starts loading the content. Uh, 15 gives you a very good example. Uh, I'll be able to show you in gameplay to where you can see the transition. So that's why I'm doing that. While we're at this, I'm gonna make a third one. Let's call it three. I messed up. How do I get rid of this? There's nothing in here to get rid of this. I've looked. There is nothing. Um, the way that you get rid of this is uh, first let's assign map one to layer one and map two to layer two. I realize I have no three. I want to get rid of that. I simply exit out. Come in here. Go to world browser. And boom. It's gone. Um, it's a little quirky. It's an experimental stage, so uh, take what we can get, right? Um, double click on a cat here, it'll bring all these in so you can still be in your layers. If you double click on this guy here, oh, oh, that guy there, it'll bring them all in so you can see them all at once. So, now you're asking, what is this streaming you're talking about? Uh, let's come in here to our layer one, go to our map one. Uh, we're going to add a streaming, uh, let me make this a little bigger. We're going to add a, a streaming element here, all right? Uh, we want this to load on bounds so that uh, it's not always loaded. You can have it always loaded if you want to. You can get into the cosmetic if you want to. Um, but I'm going to just stick with this. So I want this to go from 1 to 2, so I'm going to put 2 in there. Uh, you can also create multiples um, if you need to. Just click Add or Delete there. All right, I'm going to save this. Let's go over to 2. Click on map two, I'm gonna add another element under the streaming levels. Bounds. I'm gonna go from two to one this time. So let's save that. Alright, so let's see what this did. I'm gonna play. Um, as you can see, I'm gonna double click so I can see where my guy is there. Um, bring this off screen a little bit. So as you can see, I'm running over. Oh, there's nothing there, but. To find my bearings. Ah, oh. other side. All right, here we go. Sorry about that. So there's my level. As you can see, it just unloaded. It just came out of memory there. Boom, loaded. Unloaded. So that's very, very nice. It's very streamlined. Um, another thing I want to, uh, to be able to tell you is that when you open up this game um, from your browser there, um, it's going to look like this. Uh, you're actually going to have to come in here to Windows, go to World Browser, it should be there. Um, and it's going to look like this right here. Nothing's going to be loaded. Uh, so you're going to be able to double click on this and bring in your consistent, maybe your skybox, some, some other things that you want to live in your persistent world. Um, say I'm working on Map 1. Uh, I'm going to click on Map 1 and I'm going to start uh, uh, able to modify, do what I need to do come in here and maybe bring that up a little bit um, and then if I if I need to uh, to work on map 2 I'll open up lap, map 2 like that and uh, I'll be able to maybe maybe right click and unload map 1 so that my memory I'm just I'm able to focus on this and run it at its full capacity um, that's just a, a little example uh, for you guys that I think is amazing uh, being able to segregate and work as a team uh, and be able to work on individual pieces without having your entire level loaded. Uh, a nice example of this is uh, World Machine actually has uh, in their professional feature a feature that uh, breaks up your, your World Machine height map into high resolution uh, tiles that you can then import into here and piece together to get exactly what you wanted uh, and be able to stream between them uh, for a nice big fluid open world. Uh, I hope this, uh, this has been helpful for you guys.
Um, woo! Land on that note, guys. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave some comments. I'll answer whatever I can. There's not very much documentation on this. Uh, in 4.1, uh, you can see that they actually did um, do some stuff. If you look at the roadmap, though, uh, I didn't I didn't see anything in the roadmap, and that made me a little uh, a little unnerving. I'm sure it'll come up, but it's a great feature, and I want to see it uh, stick around. If we come in here to. Uh, World Brow, there, I already got it up. I just wanted to give you a quick show here. Um, we can see in the release notes. Look it up again. This is great. See what I'm doing, guys? If you ever have any questions, that's how you do it. There we go. World Browser, added tile landscape. So they are working on this. Don't lose hope. But I wanted to get the word out. Um, if you guys wanted to play around with it, have any questions, have any recommendations for me and how I was doing things, uh, leave a comment. All right, guys, take care.